Welcome to my channel, today we're going to talk about how to install the latest firmware from Xtreme on your Flipper Zero. Now we need to have QFlipper installed, so if you already do not have that installed, go ahead and visit the QFlipper, just type QFlipper in Google. Pick the very first link, which it should be this one here, and download your QFlipper for the different kind of operating systems, the one you have. Boot up QFlipper and plug your Flipper Zero into your QFlipper and we're ready to go. Now, obviously this, this is the way through QFlipper because I feel that this is the way to go. There are other ways for you to do it. You can also do it through web up data. So the thing is, when you go to the website of, let me just go to the base of it, the Flipper Q Extreme right here, and this is what you see. You're gonna go ahead and pick the Extreme firmware. There we go. Then you're gonna go ahead and scroll down, a long way down, until you get to the install part. Here you can click the Chrome updater. That is the recommended way, but we don't we do not do things recommended. We do it by doing it through the Q flipper package. Go ahead and click the open latest release. And there you go. You're gonna go ahead and download the Q flipper package. I already have that downloaded. And the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and open Q flipper. That is the program here, which I also just talked about. You haven't installed it already. Go ahead and install it now. Okay, so next thing you're gonna click, click install from file. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my, I'm gonna create a small folder here for my software so we don't look at it weirdly. There you go. That is the software itself. This is the version 0, 0, 0.053. The one I have in my flipper zero is 0051. So we're gonna go ahead do now is to click install from file and then go ahead and go into the folder that I have right here. Now select the TG set file which is the one right there. You download and wait for the update to complete. So I, I type open now and now we do installation. The installation itself is gonna take just a small while so what we're gonna do now is to say, Hocus Pocus. So when the percentage is over, it's gonna to continue to reboot your Flipper Zero, just like that. Turning on and off the screen here and there. Um, maybe mine is done turning on and off, I can't say. So we are just waiting for this to proceed right now updating resource and so on what it says. So that's another process of it while it's installing the newest firmware on your Flipper Zero. So we done, the Q Flipper is successfully telling us that we installed the new firmware. This is the screen you will wait for and the screen on the Flipper Zero would be, well, we have a happy little dolphin again. I think some other screen was there, but the screen was, well, no, the light was not on, so I clicked it and eh, I don't know. Anyways, we can now go ahead and press continue and we can see that the newest operating system of 0053, which is the one right there, go away, it's now installed. Now we can go ahead and check out what's inside our stuff here. And we can just go to apps and Bluetooth, for example, and see the different kind of things here. We have Blaze Bam. We can go ahead and visit the Wi-Fi stuff, that's some kind of things. We have the Wi-Fi extension board. We can go ahead and check out the sub gigahertz. And we can see the rolling floor, spectrum analysis, so on, so on, so on. And there are so many different things we can go ahead and do right now. So if you at some point were missing, well, I should probably have a few more things installed, for example, let's say some apps or something, or maybe even a script or something. I, I, I highly suggest you go ahead and visit 
this guy's GitHub page. It's it's okay. It's called Ibogitos. Gitos, 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 yes. And he got so many different things for even the Hack 5, OMG payloads, Rubber Ducky payloads, but also got flipper stuff, right? So go inside here and say, but I wanted something extra, you know? I wanted something for sub gigahertz. And so now that we learned how to update our flipper zero through Q flipper and reading the latest updates, how to pick new stuff. And I'm gonna bore you with, you know, just doing a lot of things in the flipper because this video should only be about basically how to get yourself up to date. And if you miss something, go ahead and check out Uber Guido's. So basically, you know, uh, I hope you learned something about this video and you got from, I need to know, understand how to install the firmware on my Flipper Zero, and now I can do it. So that is really the purpose. So please subscribe, like the, the button, bell, the bell button, the bell button, the bell button, the bell button, that button, right? And then you come below, so you can online, have a really nice day.